So we will also take some photos during the, um, the webinar, so just to share and use in our social media. So now I'm going to share my screen. So we can start our meeting. As I was, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> As I was saying before, uh, Florence and myself will share, sorry, it's taking so fast. <laughs> uh, Florence and myself will share um, some reflections. My reflection will be more general about the online platform who might contribute in the country, in the congregation to nurture the community, to nurture the communion. And then Florence will help us to understand better, step by step, how to open an account on Zoom and how to use it. Just for your information, this moment we are already using Zoom. And why we are talking about Zoom is just because it's the platform that we are using now. We, are, we don't want to uh, be fun on Zoom because there are a lot of other platforms on the market for online meetings, for formation online, for e-learning. This is just an example. We also used other platforms in the past, but now we decide to have for one year this platform. So once you learn more or less how to use one of them, it's very easy then to be more comfortable with other platforms because there are differences among them, but they are very similar. Okay, so we, we will show Zoom, but it's just one of them. As I already told you, we start using, we started with the prayer, because for us, communication is always also a time of contemplation, a time of silence. So I invite you to read this prayer by yourself. Bless all who use their talents in the field of communications. Amen. Okay, we started a series of webinars on communication for women religious and we start last week talking about just right after the synod about this, the relationship between social media or digital world and the youth. And you can find the uh, recorded video on our YouTube channel in English and in Spanish. The theme for today is building community at a distance, tools to meet online. We think that the digital world can help us to build bridges and to cut distance also within the congregation. And we will show you how we are experiencing that. The other reason why we talk about community and to build, to nurture the relationships between and within the community is because uh, Pope Francis has chosen the theme for the World Day of Social Communication of 2019. This Pope is very smart, also in the communication of field. His decision was, the theme is, from network community to human communities. 
in Italian is more, and in Spanish and in French is more uh, effective, the title, because in English, we use community also in our languages. When in the digital community, in the digital world, the community is a group of people around a project, around the social media, around the singer, or around the YouTuber. YouTuber is a person who uses YouTube to communicate and build up relationships with his, her community. So the first question is, in our communication, do we have community around us? But the Pope wants us, as religious life, to be prophet in this field, how we can nurture the community, the digital community, with humanity, with life. So this is the theme for next year. And we realize that the um, digital world, and in particular, the platforms to meet online that are very user-friendly and very easy to use, they can help us to move from a digital community to a human community. Why the request for platforms for online meetings are, uh, is increasing a lot? In my opinion, is because we live in a world of a huge complexity. And the religious life is a society, is an organization as any other or social organization. So we, the complexity in the social uh, world, in the world, affects also religious life. So the life within relig religious communities are becoming complex more and more. Sorry. Because the congregations are more global, are more international perhaps than before, and they need to be connected much more often. Another reason is there is an increasing need for a more profound communion within the congregation to be more effective in the mission field. Another reason is because this platform can help us to further, to foster, sorry, the intercongregational projects. Our position, uh, because we are experiencing that, that the digital platforms for online meetings can help to reach and to overcome these challenges. We usually talk about online meetings. It means that the general council perhaps can have an online meeting if they are traveling, or it's a business meeting within the congregation, for instance, the meeting of all the secretaries within the congregation. This is a meeting. Webinars, is more or less what we are having now is more focused on formation. Webinar means seminar online. And there are specific platforms for webinars. It means that the same platform can give you, can offer the possibility, the possibility to have both the platform for online meeting as we are using now and platform for webinar. When it's for webinar, you have more tools. For instance, at the beginning of this meeting, I wanted to have a, how do you call it, a poll. Uh, ask you a question and ask you to answer immediately online. But it's not possible with this platform. You need the platform for webinar. Another possibility is the e-learn platforms. The platforms who are free or they have an, an annual subscription for e-learning. There are congregations who have been using for many years, for instance, Moodle, M-O-O-D-L-E, who is a free and open source platform where you can upload videos, you can upload uh, material, and people can follow the course online. They can also fill in questionnaire, 
or um, tasks or whatever, and then they can um, send it back to the, uh, it's, everything It's on the platform. So these are three different platforms. What we are talking more today will be about online meetings. And a platform for online meeting, meeting can be also used for formation. This is what we are going to do right now, actually. How to discern the most adequate platform for my congregation, if I need one? And I think so. My suggestion is to make a checklist. This is what we have done. First, what are our, our needs? What do I need just to meet sisters? How many sisters I need to meet online at the same time? How many meetings at the same time I want to deal with the same platform? When and how will be used it most? For instance, I need it just for Christmas time because we have all. Oh, I need it just for next year. What do we expect from the platform? It's important that you can add other questions to that for, to prepare your checklist before passing, before uh, making the second step to make a trial of some of them. So the other aspect is about the uh, price. You have different costs and options. If I want a digital room like ours in this moment, we have 100 places. So there is a cost for that. Or you can also have for 50. It depends also from the platform. There are platforms who cost much more. There are platforms who are more affordable. It depends also on the tools that you choose. Then you can pay monthly annually or on demand there are there are platforms not all of them that you can pay just when you need it and to have an account you need always a credit card some of them allow the user to use a free version for a short time for instance one week 15 days just to test it and then you you have if you want to continue you have to subscribe and pay. There are others like Zoom who, that allow users to use it for free, but you have a lot of limitations. First of all, time, no more than 40 minutes per each meeting. So if you want something more advanced, you need to pay, but the price is very affordable. It's important to clarify that um, Florence will talk about that. There is the, the administrator side. It's the per, you don't have to do, uh, all the congregation shouldn't learn the same thing, but you need within the congregation or within your community, a person who can learn, this is what you are doing now, the administrator side. So how to administrate, how to manage the platform in order for other people to meet. And then there is the user side. The user side is very easy to use. You accept, Florence doesn't agree, but actually you entered as a user and was very easy for most of you just to connect your microphone and your um, video camera. But it's also true that sometimes it might be difficult when the connection is not very good or whatever. Uh, Florence will tell us more. Some other ideas. This is a, a very simple example. This is a screenshot taken from a website who makes content curation for users. What is content curation? Is when they try to create an order or try to uh, check and to surf the internet for our need on our behalf. So instead of doing that, they offer me a list of online platforms with the different website with the different features and characteristics. 
This is very useful. You can see you have Zoom, but you have plenty of them. And I, screen, I took a screenshot of half a page, so you have at least other nine. So this is my suggestion to choose the right platform for you. Google a table like I show to you right away to confront the different tools, the different platforms. Read carefully their characteristics, keeping in mind your checklist. Select two or three of them and make a test. If you're lucky, you can test all of them for free. And you make some trial to see what are the difficulties. This is what we have done for months. Florence and myself also talking, listening other people, having chat online with Zoom tutorial or whatever. You also have a lot of tutorial online just to listen the difficulties. Oh, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. What did I do? What are the benefits to use a professional platform for online meetings instead of Skype? Because it's more reliable than Skype. If you have any connection problem, Skype cuts the line immediately. Zoom or other platforms gives you some seconds to go back. Then this professional platform gives you the opportunity to have a statistics, how many people attended, how much time they were online, and the reports, the reports of registered people, the recorded video of the meeting as we are doing right now. So records, pools, polls, sorry, it's not pools, it's polls in English, I'm sorry, or other tools. For instance, you can also have a translation written translation. So why I'm talking, for instance, Florence can just type the translation into French and it comes up to you. It's not difficult, all of that. Other benefits are, sorry, I have some problem, okay. Other benefits are uh, to nurture community. It's a possibility to meet communities, not only when I travel, for instance, for general counselors or superior, account, or superior general to meet the communities online, including the old members. There are interesting experience of sisters just talking in the room with a B screen, including also the old or the disabled sisters. So you can nurture relationships or to support the community as a general counsel or for mayors to support the community of person in a specific situation, or meeting for common and participatory decision process. If you want to survey, the, to listen to sisters, you can make a survey, but you can also listen to them directly. And also for formation. Other benefits are from the communication point of view, a video newsletter of our Superior General instead of a boring letter sent by email. I can interview people. For instance, I want to interview a sister, a sister on mission for, our, for my website. I can use Zoom, record, and the audio and video are very good quality. Online accompaniment. This is so important, sisters. This is a huge tool also to accompany people in difficult situation when they are far. Meeting, for instance, of initial formation members. If we have different formation centers, we can allow them to meet together online. And opportunity also for intercongregational projects. Okay. Now I'm going to stop sharing my screen. I will unmute your microphone. I don't know if you have questions before listening. Sister Florence to give us more inputs on the technical part. Do you have comments, questions?
just to understand who uh, or who among you already use some of the platform like this one or maybe others i don't care you can raise your hand or just move your face or write it on the chat antonia you are using beth no no uh, antonia what are you using what kind of platform um, we used zoom in my community um, in the United States when we were doing our um, discernment for leadership during this year, we had community meetings four times, which anybody who wanted to could come in and um, be part of a conversation. It was very good. Do you find some difficulty? Did you find some difficulty in using, not just the technical stuff, like more no, actually, because we were spread out all across the United States, and we, we had no problems whatsoever um, connecting. We did groups together, and individuals were also able to join if they were further away, and it worked for everybody. It was really good. Good. Thank you, Antonia. Beth, do you want to share? Actually, uh, we're using Zoom also. And uh, normally it's also an online, of course, online meeting in different parts of the world. And it's easy, although in the, some, you have to mention about 40 minutes limited for free one. And the first time when we did the test, and it was, we used that way. So then we go forward and the platform is nice. And also I was able to use blue jeans and other, other meetings or go meetings or some other. Also the, the well-known Google meeting. <laughs> hand out, hand out. Yeah. Hang out. Yeah. Hang out, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Alfonso. Uh, Patricia, do you have opportunity for training administrators? You mean on Zoom? Yes. This is what we are going we, we, to do now. Okay, okay. You, Thank we, you. Are, we are giving uh, for granted that you might be administrator you are not, you, now you are users for this meeting but now mm. Florence will help us to understand how to be administrator and okay believe me it's very easy you can okay it. all these platforms are very user friendly you don't have to be a computer engineer like Florence <laughs> <laughs> thank you that, you know it's thank you. normal people too, so, okay. thank you okay so I will mute all your microphone, including my. Sorry, I mute also mine. <laughs> Florence. <laughs> Florence, go ahead. Thank you. So, uh, good afternoon. I I will I will give you some uh, some advice. First, um, I will share my screen uh, with you. So, just me partage. Okay. So you should you, uh, now you should see my screen. Um, do do you see it? Yeah, you cannot speak, so it's okay. <laughs> yes, yes, we can see. It. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. So when when you start, I I want to start uh, from from the beginning. Uh, I will type Zoom. And when you arrive here at uh, on Zoom meeting, you have. Uh, different possibility. Uh, oh, sorry, it's speaking French. But you have the free version and you have the pro version. The free version, you have only 40 minutes. But we are using this version, the second one, the pro version, that is the cost, it's 14 euro a month. That is not a huge amount of money, but it's a little, it's true. And with this one, we can do what we want, and it's enough. Ne then the next one, it's for people if we have more 
than 10 meetings together at the same time. So we are not using in WISC this 10 because we are doing only one or two or three. So we are using the pro one. Uh, we are using the pro one. When you open your account um, and, and you are here, you want to, uh, to, to enter in, your, in, in the administrative part. And I will start with this administrative part. When you arrive, the first thing that I will do is to put it in English because it is in French. So I just, at the end, at the bottom of the screen, I put it in English. And then you get it now in English. You can choose the language that you are using. On top, you have my profile. So you can see my profile. It's where I opened the one of Luis. So you can see what we are doing in WISC. Um, I want to pass directly to meeting setting. You can see on, on where, where I am moving my mouse, my meeting setting here. Let's go. Uh, how do we do? Um, to schedule a meeting, if you want to schedule, you can schedule a meeting but you can also choose a kind of setting for all the meetings that, that you will use later. So for example, um, when I start the meeting, I want my video on. So I put in statue my video, each time I start a meeting will be on. on. But the, particip the participant, I also want them to be on. So when somebody has a video, when they will connect to my meeting, their video will be on. This is for the video. Mine is on and the video of the participant is always on. Then for the audio. For the audio, to join a Zoom meeting, you have the choice between the computer, what you are using now, today, or the phone. So you can phone Luisk and then not using your computer audio, but using the phone. But who will pay the phone? It's Luisk who will pay the phone. So we don't want to pay. So it's why we are using only the computer audio. So you can connect to a meeting only with your computer. You can use your phone, but when you use your phone, you use the Wi-Fi. You, you don't use the, the, the line. You use just your, the Wi-Fi. So it's very important to, to put only the computer audio. If you want to, to, to propose to people both, you do that. But what I, I will say to you, it's before for people who, who arrive, then they will need a passport, uh, password. Because if people connect with uh, calling you by phone, it's you who will pay the communication. So for us, always we put computer only and we don't need so password because people cannot connect with their phone if they are not using the Wi-Fi. Um, when, when people arrive, I want to mute the participant. So when you, when you are connected, always your micro is cut. So you are mute. Each time somebody arrives, the micro is cut. You can choose the opposite, that the people can use their microphone. But it's easier because sometimes they have to do some kind of, uh, of uh, to try if their microphone is working. Then, what I was speaking with Patricia just before the meeting, you can, you can put, when you organize your meeting, when you schedule your meeting, you can choose to integrate your meeting in a calendar. So, for example, I want here, let's do it again. I want to integrate all the meetings that I arrive in a calendar. So I do that, and when, when, I, when I, 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 I connect, I can choose to which calendar I want, which calendar I want to use. For example, I said, I want to use my Gmail calendar, or I want to use another calendar, but I will use this one, and I will say, no, it's my Gmail calendar that I am using. Sorry, it's in French. I don't know why. But. So, uh, because my computer is speaking French. 
So here, I use this calendar. All the meeting that you will schedule will be in your, in your calendar. You can choose also to receive a reminder if you want, before the meeting. We are not using it uh, too much. Uh, during the meeting, you can, you can propose to people, you, you can, uh, you, you can um, crypt, crypt your message. We don't do it because it's using more line. But then you can have a chat. So for example, I allow all the participants to send a message to who you want. So if you want to speak, for example, to uh, somebody who participated to the meeting, you can send a message. If you want to send me a message, you can chat and send me a message. We will, we will see to, in a few minutes how do we do it. Or you can have also a private chat. So we agree and we said yes, we want to, uh, we want to, uh, uh, to propose to people to send to another participant. Um, I want also to save the chat at the end of the meeting. When I close the meeting, I have the record of the video, but I have also the record of the chat, what, what, uh, what you are saying. There is also a possibility when people join or leave the meeting, they can, they, we can make a noise. So for example, if you want to know if somebody leaves the meeting, you just choose this to play a sound when they arrive or when they leave. This, is, this can be useful for people, for, for example, for a teacher who would like to know when the student arrive late to the conference or when they leave the conference. Because when you have too many participants, today we are, we are 13, so it's easy for us to see who participate. But when you have many participants, sometimes you don't know, so you can hear a sound. But I, I participate once to this meeting, and it's terrible when everybody is leaving and entering during the conference. Um, with this version of, of, of Zoom, I can transfer also, I can send you a, a file, a PDF or a Word document. So I, I, I said to people, yes, I, ought, I, I authorized people to send a file uh, through the chat. Um, at the end, at the end of the meeting, you can get also a feedback, uh, a kind of survey to see if people have been happy or not happy with the survey. But when you, when you ask here, display end of meeting experience feedback for the survey, if I said yes, they will say yes, but you need also to send a feedback to Zoom. So each time you want to, 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 to use the survey, you have also to send the a feedback to Zoom. We are not using it very often, but it's a possibility. Um, you, can, you can allow some people to be co-host. It means you are the administrator, but you can share the administration with somebody because when you are administrator, uh, you have more rights than when you are participant. So for example, what Patricia did to me, she, she put me co-host, so I have the same right, even if I am a participant, I, 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 am, I was connected as a participant, but I can be a co-host as she, with the same possibility than she was, uh, she was doing. Um, then I will, uh, let's go here. We can put, we can, we can also remove some people who participate. For example, uh, if you see on the, on the list some people that you don't want, for example, if a journalist or somebody that you don't want, uh, a, a novice or somebody who, 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 who knew the number of your meeting and connected and you don't want, um, when, you, when you go on the, on the photo of the person and you click you don't see it, but if you click on, the, on their name, you can remo remove this person from your meeting. You, you are the one who choose who can be during the, who can attend the meeting, and you can remo remove participants that you don't want them to participate to, to the meeting. It's also a possibility. Then 
it was um, I said yes I want the, the, the control bar and also I accept to share my desktop and it's why everybody could share the desktop uh, with people um, we can have also uh, a whiteboard or um, that uh, uh, I will show you I will show you later well, what does it mean I can also um, um, all we are 12 uh, no we are 13 participants I can say let's do two two rooms I want you to to share uh, and to speak or, or three three rooms three uh, small groups sorry small group so let's do three or four small groups and I will I will show you later and so people can speak between between themselves for 10 minutes or 20 minutes before like a small groups in or some small classrooms during the meeting and then I put again everybody together um, then close captioning you can you can add some subtitle it is just to to say for example some some congregation are using it when they do translation so for example they use the subtitle and somebody they allow somebody to do the subtitle and in the subtitle they translate so somebody is typing a translation in spanish or in another language many congregation are really are using the uh, using the this subtitle for translation and then you can save also you can save the subtitle I think it's it's uh, for the meeting. It's uh, it's uh, more important. Um, now uh, you can record the meeting. Uh, when I go here, I was in meeting. Uh, I can see on with my uh, mouse, and then I can record the meeting. Uh, and then you have uh, two possibility, or you can record on your computer, or you can record in the cloud. Of Zoom. So if you record in your computer, when we close the, the meeting, uh, Zoom needs some time to, to, to settle the video on your computer. If you do it on the cloud, so Zoom is doing it, so at the end of the meeting, we close the meeting, we close the computer, and we go home, and Zoom will propose after 20 minutes or 25 minutes. The, the record of the meeting and in in the record you can choose to have just the speaker what the speaker did or to have the the gallery it means all the photo of everybody so you can have the you, you can choose gallery view active just the speaker and you can also record only the audio uh, i am saying that because it's it's very it's very useful uh, for us, we don't we don't use the automatic recording. We don't use it because um, we want to start the record when we want, and we want to stop the record when we want. And and when you use the automatic record, as soon as you open the meeting, you start the record. But we are using uh, a lot the recording to put online on YouTube. And we don't have to have all the beginning of the meeting when we we are laughing and, and speaking la, and just uh, adjusting everything. So it's why we don't put it in uh, in uh, in automatic. Uh, I think it's more important. The phone is what I was explaining a few minutes ago. We don't want to use international number. We don't want people. To, to call us in Italy, and we don't want to, to, to pay. So we didn't choose the phone. Uh, but I was, to join, you need to, to use your computer or the Wi-Fi. Now, I want, I want to, um, to planify uh, a meeting. Um, so I want to schedule here. You have all the meeting. I was using the one of Luisk because I said like that, you can see all the meetings that are the planification that we are, this is the one uh, today with the light because it's on, it's a meeting that we are, using, we are using with the number of the meeting, the ID of the meeting uh, that is here. 
um, you can see also all the previous meetings that we organized. So you keep the track of all the meetings that you, you organized, the one that will come and the one that you did. And here you have the, the meeting, the total since, uh, I don't know up to when it's, it's going, but you have all, the, all their meeting with the number. Um, I go back. I want to schedule a new meeting. What do I do? For example, if you want to organize, so you click on schedule a meeting, and then you, 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 you said uh, a trial, uh, just, uh, uh, and you put the name of the meeting or communication, uh, because we are in communication. I type the, the kind of meeting that I want, the description that you want to, to send to people, the time, you choose the time, and here we are in Rome. So we, I choose Rome, and people will receive, will receive, when they will receive the, the, the timetable, they will receive um, the time of Rome, but they will receive also the time in their country. So they will know, they will know, um, they will know uh, the, the, the jet lag, I don't know, the, the, the time, the zone time uh, of their meeting. Here I can choose also exactly what, uh, <clears throat> alors, sorry, then I want to say, do you need to register to participate to the meeting? Yes or no? This, for this meeting that we will do, let's say tomorrow, we will do it tomorrow, the so 7, at 3 p.m., yes, I want that people register for this meeting. No, I don't want, I don't need a registration for this meeting. Um, well, the video it will, will be on. I can choose again for this meeting, particular meeting, and then for the computer, it's, it's always this one. As it was in the setting, it's done automatically. So you, you, you find automatically what, what you said uh, before in the general setting. And then I save, and then we, I save, and the meeting will be for tomorrow. So it will be it will not be recorded in the cloud. Um, able, ah, yes, uh, I forgot to, to, to say it, but we have also the possibility, maybe we will see it later. So people can, you have the possibility to, to say to people, yes, they can join the meeting before the administrator starts the meeting, or they cannot join the meeting before we started the administrator start the meeting. So it's also uh, in, in the setting. If I go back in the setting at the end, here, um, uh, I don't remember where is it, but in some places, um, I can, I can, uh, waiting room, voilà. Uh, uh, they can join or they cannot join before before the host arrive, and we say no. We want we want uh, to start the meeting when the administrator arrive. So it was one of the, the options. I go back. I am going a little fast, but uh, so I was in my meeting. Huh? We were uh, just trying to uh, to schedule a new meeting. Uh, my record, it's, it's the same. So I can see all the meetings that, that we record. So for example, if I go back, I said, I want to see all the record that we did between, between uh, uh, October 1st to today. Um, I want to search. Uh, we did nothing. We didn't have any, any record. Uh, we deleted it. We delayed, we delayed. Ah, alors, we have no choice because they were deleted. Uh, but if you go to trash, if you go to trash, I have no access to trash because I have the, uh, uh, let's see if I can change. Okay, so if I go to trash, I find the meeting that I have deleted, that were record, the former meeting that were record, that were the delay that are now delayed. Uh, so you can keep 
you can uh, you can keep a track of all the meeting that you record in the cloud uh, you have also the local if you record on your computer you can also find them but they were record in our computer and you you know which computer did it that is also very very important um, Flo, may I ask you a question? Yes. Uh, when you set the settings, let's say, of a meeting, you can do it just from the meeting settings. And so all the meetings that I will schedule will have the same settings. Am I right? Yes. And when you schedule, so they will, they will have exactly this setting. This setting is for all the meeting. But when I... I start my meeting when I schedule a new meeting. For example, if I take the one of tomorrow, the one that we did here, uh, I find it. It's the one that we, we just did a few minutes ago. When you do it, you can choose again uh, everything. I edit the meeting because I want to change. I made a mistake. I said, no, I don't want something. So I edit here on, on, uh, on the bottom. You edit the meeting, and you, then you can choose again what I said. No, sorry, I want a password. Uh, I want uh, that people be able to join the, bit, the meeting before I arrive. Or I want to record in the cloud. And, and the same for, the, for the, the advanced option. I will not see it today. So when you do your meeting, you can change it. But it's quicker when you... you it's quicker because uh, it's already done. Uh, what, what I am used to do, it's already done. It's a general setting, but you can always, you can always change it for each meeting. Did I answer to your question? Got it, yeah, perfect, thank you. Okay. Let's see if they have a question now. I'm going to unmute all of your microphones, so please don't make too much noise. If you have a question, please uh, don't yeah. panic, sister. Uh, okay. <laughs> Ignacia. Yeah. I, I wish to know if you have three, four meetings, do you have the same password? Uh, you, you mean, mean password, password or you need the number of the meeting? I think the number, because there's some way I have seen the password where you think the user enters to join the meeting. Uh, I, to, join, to join a meeting, you need to, to have the number of the meeting. Eh? You have nine numbers. Yes. Uh, you have it on top of your screen. Okay. Let's see if I can do it now. Um, Um, I'm sorry, I want to. I think she refers Flo, uh, from the setting down below that you can yeah. add the password, but you are not obliged to do it. Oh, okay. No. 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 <laughs> when when you choose when when you choose the when when you start a meeting. Zoom is giving you a number. Yes. So the number is always different. Okay. Yesterday I sent you a number. I sent you a link. So you could enter yeah. this link. But I think your question is more complicated. I don't know if I get... For instance, uh, the USG needs to have three meetings at the same time. So we had to buy three different license, licenses oh. for the Zoom. So we can have one Zoom in English, one Zoom in French, one Zoom in Spanish for the multimedia room that we talked before. Okay. But if you, have a con you are a congregation who has one meeting per time, you don't need to buy, buy more than one license. Okay. <laughs> so you can have one meeting per time and you can choose a number for all the meetings. You can choose the same number 
Yeah. Or you can change it each time. Okay, thank you. You have other questions? I can see all of you. So, Flo, stop sharing your... Okay. Sorry, because I can't see them very well. Okay. Okay. Sisters, I don't know if you have other questions. I know that some of you are more used to it and perhaps it was too basic, but the idea is to have a really a real basic workshop for you and we didn't touch the webinar stuff because it's a little bit more complicated, but you can do it. Thank you. You um, have other questions or curiosities? When the, when you record when you record the Zoom meeting, also what is interesting, it's uh, you you can record the name of people who are on on the um, gallery, like like you are watching your when you are watching your screen, you watch uh, the people and you watch and you see their name. Um, or or you, you you don't want to record also the name. You can choose. And you can choose, uh, you can change also the name of, of people. Uh, so for example, uh, I, I don't want, uh, um, I don't want Patricia, I don't want her name. So I will, and I cannot because you are, you are host. But for example, for another participant, I can change, I can change the name. Uh, and I will put, uh, uh, Instead of uh, whisk Florence, I just put whisk. So you can, you when people uh, they they don't want to know, for example, you don't want to put your name, you put a mobile, and then people don't know who you are. And uh, and to to help me, I will I will change your name. I will not put Beth. I will put another name. <laughs> because uh, I don't want uh, I don't want that and and I will put uh, I will put another name. <laughs> Thank you, Florence. I think it was very clear. And um, do you have some suggestions for a congregation who would like to start in this having Zoom flow? Yes, it's it's what you were saying at the beginning. I think you you have to start with the the free version um, that you are using for forty minutes and and forty minutes. Even if you have to do a second meeting to finish your meeting, but at least you 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 can try and because the version the free version of forty minutes has the same advantage of the almost the same. Everything is the same as the one that uh, the pro version. So with the 40 minutes, uh, after two or three or five meetings, uh, you know if it's better to use Zoom or if it's better to use a GoToMeeting or to Hangout or Skype or, or other possibilities. Uh, it's what we did. It's what we did uh, at the beginning when we changed from GoToMeeting to Zoom. Uh, I don't know if somebody wants to 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 share uh, her experience if uh, bet that are are not called anymore bets um, absent absent <laughs> you want to share something <laughs> not to lose uh, we use zoom only for uh, I would say it's uh, not the, in some formation particularly in silencing ourselves in prayer and <laughs> yeah we <clears throat> we use online. <clears throat> The first time I experienced uh, Zoom was that of, uh, of uh, meditation online, mm -hmm. connecting from uh, sisters from different parts of the world and lay people in order to, to be in touch in building a, community, a person, a community of prayers. So that's the first time. And then uh, we uh, developed certain uh, modules only for a short time because we understand people also are that so busy. And uh, some of the particular experiences is only 40 minutes meeting, and then we set another time. It's always a scheduled meeting, and we get the objectives of each meeting, and that that, that is nice. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Florence. Thank you, Beth. 
Um, Actually, with this platform, with this space, we can use our creativity mm -hmm. and use it for many other things. If we are communicators within the congregation, it's a huge space to meet sisters, to meet with my team, and to build bridges. We usually hear the testimonies of superiors general who are our members who are very tired and exhausted by traveling from a part to another. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that we have to delete the travel, but the online meetings might be helpful from a meeting to another, from a travel to another. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just sharing for one second my screen again. But feel free to ask other questions. We have a couple of minutes more. We have our star here, our VIP, <laughs> Elizabeth. So the next webinar in communication will be November 28, in English and in Italian this time, about WhatsApp. How to use properly WhatsApp for mission. Good. I'm sorry to say that, but the worst use of WhatsApp is within the religious life. Yes, it's true. Sorry to tell you, so this is why we want to have this webinar, <laughs> trying to find the way together to use it more properly for our mission, also for personal stuff. Hmm? And I want to just conclude with the spaces that UISG has for communication for religious sisters at your, so we have a platform where we usually gather documents in different languages. We have a Facebook group and we have a newsletter for communicators. So here you have all the information and you can take note or you, the group is very useful to have information, to have formation events and it's a multilingual group. Okay, sister. I think we can close our <laughs> meeting. Thank you very much. Thank you, Florence, for sharing. No, no, just uh, if you need more questions one day, um, uh, we, can, uh, we can do it. I just wanted to clarify something, uh, to ask a question. How do you find the security <laughs> of Zoom? How do how you find the? The security. The security setting <laughs> and how since it has automatical setting to go save instrument on the cloud. Of course, you have to have your the cloud account, right? But how is, how do you find and how can you describe the security of this particular platform? I, I, don't, I don't know because if you want really, if you don't want to use the cloud, you can record on your computer. Yeah, yeah I understand that. But uh, my thing is, how do you define how is the security of this? I have no idea. Okay. I don't know. It's very difficult to answer, but you know that once the things are on the cloud, <laughs> they are gone. Now. You know, we. I think Zoom is part of the. You know how the web is uh, compound. You know, you have the clear web where Google, whatever, and then you have the the side before the dark web hmm. where there are the more secure place Thanks. and mm -hmm. banks uh, you know special communications you know but i i am more uh, uh, yes i i understand the question and i but i don't think in religious life we have many private 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 things of course. but but, uh, but but where where i am more uh, interested it's what i was sharing a few minutes ago to remove somebody from uh, listening to us okay and, and I think sometimes uh, uh, when, and, and we can see here in WISC, when we have many people connected, just to be sure that they are sister or brother or they are invited and not to have somebody who is not invited to the meeting. For example, when we are speaking or sharing about Talita Kum, about uh, sharing some experiences of human trafficking Traffic. or women trafficked or things like that giving example or sharing some experience 
And the other day, I was, we were not sure about uh, if he's a journalist or not a journalist who is online, how he got the number. He registered because he saw the, the registration mm. on the, on the WISC webpage. And then to be able to remove the person. And, and I think sometimes we don't ask for registration or, or even they will register with a, with a name. And, and then to be sure that, uh, uh, because you see a name, but it's, you can put what you want as a name. So you don't put your name, you don't put your video camera, and you don't know who is online. And, and this for me, it's, it's, it's a, a lack of security, let's say. Uh, or I remove everybody who, has, who doesn't have a video. If you don't have a video, I remove you. Because I want to be sure that it is you who are listening. <laughs> but in the time, and, and, and this for me, this problem is it's a problem of security. Yeah, it's a one form of security also. It's true. Mm -hmm. But of course, in that line, you can uh, always know with whom are we sent our invitation and the registration, the confirmation of the password, and of course, you have to set certain rules or guidelines. With who to the participants, you should be aware of this that it's a guarding of our security as well. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's true also because it's true. taking the more complicated and uh, mm -hmm. I would say the secrets, the sacredness of our life in a way, and also if it deals with human, per, we are dealing with human person, and mm -hmm. especially in the case that you have mentioned, it's really necessary to somehow guard. Mm -hmm. our security in a way of course religious as we are we don't hide many things and we are not that <laughs> but of course i understand it's true but mm -hmm. of course the possibility of intervening persons are possible also to check what really these people in the church are doing in this particular and blah 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 so these are all possibilities mm -hmm. and probabilities mm -hmm. This is why we usually work at least in two. So for instance, if I facilitate, there is the administrator. If, the, if I'm at the administrator, another person facilitates. Okay. Because you can more, I mean, you have more eyes on that. Mm -hmm. Because doing by yourself completely and administrate and facilitate might be very difficult. Even though you are used to it. So my mm -hmm. suggestion is always to have a facilitator and administrator, so a sister who can teach mm -hmm. and that they can help because mm -hmm. you can always check. Okay? Thank you. Okay, yeah. okay thank you. We are going to I'm get really ready grateful. for the other webinar in Spanish. So thank you very much for your participation. You will thank find you. the video <laughs> on, the, on our YouTube channel with others also of the best. So thank you very much, Florence. It was very thank clear. You. And uh, you can write to Florence, you find her email on our website, but I can write it right now on the chat. Oh, you, you, you write to Patricia, who will send it to me, because you have everybody in the world has the email of Patricia. <laughs> you can write to me and I will forward it. There is no privacy with the, with the email of Patricia. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you very much and have a nice day. Yes, have a nice day. Thank bye you. Bye, bye, I'm really grateful. Thank yes. you. Thank bye. you. <laughs>